Hi everyone, the purpose of this video is I would like to specifically highlight you know, how you can do some of these things within the, the, the week one learning module. I just barely touched on them last time. So um, I'll talk more about the Linda videos here in a second, but that's, that's where you uh, might be wondering about how you go and watch these videos. That'll be here on the next video. But so let's say you've let's say you want to decide your term project choices for your term project. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this link here for Project Gutenberg. Um, project Gutenberg is basically where you can go and access um, books that are uh, free use. Um, there's no copyright on them anymore because their copyright has expired. And what you're going to be doing is your term projects is you're going to be um, finding a book that you'd basically like to make a website for for the author of that book. The author is going to be your client and in a sense I'm going to take the role of that author. So let's say you were to choose um, the person who wrote Frankenstein for example. I would then become the author of that Frankenstein book and work with you to develop that Frankenstein website. Um, so anyway, so you're going to choose the book that you would like to choose use for that. Uh, for more information about that assignment, you can click here on the course overview. Um, so in your submission, you would just basically write your first three choices, you know, for those books. I'm just doing that because I just want to make sure that everyone's doing a different book for their term project. If there's any comments that you'd like to provide for me, you can do that here. And then you're basically going to submit that assignment. And then, it'll, and then it'll be submitted to me. And then what I can do is I can give you feedback on that assignment, and I can either give you a grade or I can send it back to you. And we'll talk more about next week on how to find that feedback. The next thing uh, this week is your term project journal. Um, you'll be hearing, as soon as you turn in that assignment, you'll be hearing from me pretty quick um, what um, book you're going to be doing for your term project. Um, but basically, the term project journal, this is where you're going to be communicating with your client um, the different phases as you develop their website, utilizing the phases of the web design and development lifecycle. So this week you're going to be submitting to the client, you know, three links of, of similar websites that, that you can kind of model their new site that they're making off of. And then you're also going to discuss with the client what you like about these three sites. And then you're going to start asking them questions that are relevant to the planning phase of the web design and development lifecycle. And information about that is found here. By the time you guys get into the course, you're going to find everybody's journal over here on the left. And you can actually click on everybody's different journal and see their conversations that they're having with their client and see what books they're doing for their term project. And you can also give them tips, um, write recommendations, um, share different questions that you ask with, with the client with them, stuff like that. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're just going to create a new entry and you're going to essentially write out this journal posting uh, as if you were writing to your, the client um, the information provided here and then you're going to post it. So let's just, uh, for example's sake, we're going to click on create entry. Uh, the post, this one you could write the subject message, could be uh, week one journal, uh, whatever, and then here you would be, then be writing out the post that you would be sending to your client. I would recommend writing these in a word processor first and then copying and pasting them here just in case something happens with your browser and it times out, I wouldn't want you to lose, you know, if you spent five minutes writing in here, I wouldn't want you to lose the things that you wrote. If there's any attachments you need to attach, again, don't forget you can attach them, and then you can click post. And then this week, uh, let's see, what else is due? Let me pop back into week one real quick. Um, And then you have your homework exercise. So your homework exercise it tells you what page of the book it's if it tells you what page of the book that it's found on, and then it tells you what you're specifically supposed to do. Remember, for all of your homework exercises, you always need to add your last name and the date into uh, the file somewhere, and then you're going to submit that to me. This week it's just uh, a Microsoft Word file, so you're going to basically attach it here and submit it to me for grading. And it's it, we're actually going to be tying, this is actually somewhat similar to what you're kind of already doing for your term project. So, and then you, again, you're going to click Submit. So that's basically what uh, week one looks like. Um, again, if you have any questions, be sure that you uh, send them to me in the general questions area, which is also found at the very end of every learning module. It's also on the home page. You can also get to it by navigating to the, to the questions area. And you would just come in here and then create a message and say, hey, I have a question about the week one assignment. I'll see you in the next video.